G'day, Jack. Um, this shouldn't take too long, mate. Look, I mentioned in the email today that it's a pretty good piece. Um, there's just a few paragraphs that I found probably a little bit weak, um, particularly these ones at the front. This one here really, as an, as an opening paragraph, not that it's the opening paragraph, but as an, a, an opening paragraph, it's pretty weak. You know, it, it's the grammar's wrong for a start, but it reads, representation of dystopia is at the heart of both texts, which were born from tumultuous times and present futures that they believe possible if their current political context become uncontrollable. So there's really is an overuse of pronoun here. Um, you need to identify um, the, the times, the present, um, who, what context they are and so forth. So, you know, I wonder whether this could be joined with this and it could be a more, um, you know, meaningful paragraph that gives it a lot more information. Um, so uh, this whole section here, including this paragraph here, I wonder if it can be rewritten and, and, and then, you know, developed a little bit better. Um, just so that you're getting out uh, a clearer message. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, apart from that, look, it's it's pretty good. I'm, um, these ones down here. I look this bit about um, this bit about Metropolis. I think you should mention the Moloch scene here. Um, the fact that you know the workers are sort of being fed to the machine and being used as fuel. You know this metaphor of the um, of workers as fuel for the industrial complex. You need to mention that here because I think you're not giving it enough direct evidence. Um, and look, the Moloch scene is so important. Um, it's probably overused as evidence, but it's hard to ignore it. You know, you sort of got to mention it. Um, now, I, I'm really big on this idea of social contract. I really do think that Lang was after a social contract, a new social contract, because you got this idea that Germany had a really clear social contract, a very successful new society. Then it gets totally disrupted or totally destroyed. Not yeah, it is destroyed pretty much by World War One. Now and then suddenly, for the first time, they have a republic. Now Germans are not used to the notion of republic. It's a new new notion, and um, so I think what Lang's doing is saying, you know, because we have this new society, things are not working very well. We need a new contract, a new social contract, and all societies have it. And I think that end scene really does highlight the fact that, you know, workers, industrials need to come together um, in respect. And that produces this idea of a social contract, right? I really wish you would mention that. I think it's an important notion uh, for Lang. All right, the rest of it's pretty good until um, we get down here. Um, this paragraph is really brief about, you know, you've got to mention Winston and Julia here. Um, and I noticed you leave the, this quote right to the end. And I think it's not a bad thing to do. Um, so that's fine. Um, just fix this thing up. It's just a little bit, I've got a few notes there. It's nothing major. Look, it's pretty good. And, um, if you fix those sections up, I think it will be fine. It just comes down to your delivery and timing and so forth. Uh, just make sure it meets the time limit. Um, hopefully you've worked that out and that's fine. Um, so look, it's a good job. Um, I don't know if it's perfect, but I don't think anything like this can be perfect until you deliver it. I think it's your delivery that will, will make it an A. It's certainly good enough to be an A. Uh, how well you bring it all together really is about your timing and your voice and, and, and your understanding of each other and so forth. Okay. All right. Well done, mate. Um, and good luck with it. See ya.